Right, I'm going to talk about eyebrows today. Um, I'm going to show you how to pluck and shape your eyebrows and how to shape them as well uh, and add shape to them after you've plucked them and shaped them. Um, what I'm going to be using today is uh, an old toothbrush like this. A mirror obviously because you need to see what you're doing. Um, some Blue Line Cosmetics uh, shadow. I'm going to be using this one which is in number 29 smoke and it's a really nice um, sort of browny russety russet, almost slightly russety browny sort of shade and it's matte and it's perfect for eyebrows also I will be using my tweezerman tweezer which came in this this absolutely fantastic thing I would say when you're plucking your eyebrows um, I would only ever use tweezerman and I would only ever use slant ones like this Let's see if I can pick that up on the camera there you go see slant ones I honestly can't use any other tweezer um, and if you look after them these come with a little sort of plastic cap like that to protect them they should last you for absolutely ages they, they're about they sort of vary between about 12 and 16 pound so they're not too bad but um, you get some sort of lifetime guarantee with them and tweeze them and we'll sharpen them for free and things like that I've never had to have these sharpened and I've had these about five or six years possibly and they're, they're just like new and I use them all the time. Also, I shall be using a little bit of this Garnier Skin Naturals Simply Essentials Tonic Toner. Sorry, not tonic. It's a toner, astringent, tonic, skin tonic, you know, whatever you like to call it. So, um, I hope you enjoy the video and. Um, I hope it's helpful to you. If it's not, let me know what else you need to know. And um, there it is. Thank you. So I'm going to bring my face in nice and close now. And I've got the light on um, so you can see what I'm doing. Now, <sighs> hopefully this will be easy for you. Now normally you know you can <clears throat> do this with any pencil but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to measure up this eyebrow. So it starts here. So what you can do if you want make a mark. I'm going to make a mark with a black um, eyeliner so you can see it properly. So there. That's where it should start there is where it should end going from the nose across the outer eye yeah and the next one is through the middle of the iris and across so about sort of somewhere along here I mean my arch I like my arch about there I mean this this is all you know it's it's all down to personal preference as well It's got to be what you're happy with. Now, don't worry about these marks. These are just a guide to make it easier. So, I'm going to take out all these hairs underneath here first. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to brush all these hairs out of the way. So I'll brush them all up with this old toothbrush. can see clearly <clears throat> excuse me I can see clearly which hairs I need to pluck go to the base of the hair and just pull it away in the direction it grows Okay. 
Now you can use toner if you want um, at this stage to sort of wipe over the eye area. I personally don't like to do that. I'll do it at the end because um, I find it irritates the skin a little if I do that. And also keep a piece of cotton wool so you can just wipe the eyelashes off, uh, eye, eyebrow lashy. Oh gosh, <laughs> eyebrow lash. The um, brow hairs off the tweezers. <laughs> so I hope you're getting this. And just the best thing to do is to take less rather than more. You can always take more out, but once they're gone, you can't put them back. And you can see these two are outside here. I don't I don't even know if these hairs are showing up for you, but trust me they're there. Okay, so that's the first stage. And then you want to brush it into shape or an approximate shape of how you want it. Now you're gonna think, oh that looks a mess, but you've got to remember that these eyebrows of mine have got um fairly bad alopecia on them, so there's a lot of thinning in you know areas which will compensate for it. Now I'm actually fairly happy with that shape now. There's a couple of hairs along here. Now they say don't pluck outside your eyebrow or above your eyebrow but so long as you just pluck in you know stray hairs on their own I really wouldn't worry about it too much and I have I have, I have plucked you know because you know that you want your eyebrow to be a certain shape. Now I'm just going to wipe some toner over that. I'm going to use this, um, which is Garnier Sensitive Skin Toner, which I mentioned in my um, Acne Miracle video, if you want to check that one out as well. I'll just saturate the pad with it. Okay, and then just wipe like that across the area that you've done. And it helps you to see clearly if there's any hairs you've missed as well. I can see a couple there. Okay, I'm going to leave that one at that. Now I'm going to do this one. I'm not going to put the marks on it this time. Now this, these eyebrows are completely different shape, both of them. Um, you know, there's, there's nothing you can do about that. And this one's more hairy. Don't ask me why. And again, just plucking in the direction of hair growth. Like that. I mean, I don't need to, to the, you know, do the guidelines because I know pretty much where it's going to go. I find it's a good idea to sort of have your tweezers in your makeup bag and then sort of every day when you're doing your makeup or whatever, you know, just have a look and if there's any, because they all grow at very different rates, the hairs, so you might need to sort of tidy them up a bit, not necessarily on a daily basis, but it depends how fast your hair grows. My hair tends to grow fast, but sparse um, on my head and, you know, sort of on my eyebrows, so... The, I'll get regrowth quite quickly. Just a bit of toner on that one. Then, set yourself back, and what you want to do is hold your mirror up and look into it. And you need to do a quick eye movement, sort of look at the arch areas, like, and look at the outside areas, and see if you feel that they're as even as they can be. Yeah, have a good look at them. I feel like I can pluck some more out on this side here. Okay. And I bet you're looking at the camera now, and the screen now, and you're going, no, no, don't pluck any more out. You've no eyebrows left. But believe me, that's all I get. Right, now there are different ways you can fill in. You can fill in with a pencil. Just use light strokes. This is just um, an eyeliner. Now this is black. This is 
probably I used to use this but it's probably too dark for me and you just fill with just light strokes like barely touching in the direction of the hairs that you go in and then when you get to this bit sort of down like that and shape the shape you want now there are eyebrow stencils out there um, if you want to try those I'm not going to use that another way to do it which I used to do is to get a powder now this is an elf um, element palette but the eyeshadow, the, the actual shadows in it, I've converted it, I've stuck magnets into the bottom of the palettes um, and these are actually blue line cosmetic eyeshadows but you would take say this dark one here, sort of like it's almost like a sort of a um, reddy brown colour and you can use either a flat brush like this okay or an angled brush like this. Um, I'm going to I'm going to use the angled brush, and I'm going to do one eyebrow like this, and I'll just show you how that looks. Okay, so if I can just get, I hope I'm in shot here. Um, just touch it onto the powder like that. Tap off the excess. And then just, as I said before, just gentle strokes like this across the brow area and then down. Okay. Just touch it on again. Now powder, eyeshadow powder or eyebrow powder because you can buy sort of special made kits with wax and Sort of powder in them um, tends to give a more natural result. Now, if you look at that, um, you can see that it makes a difference. But I, I think it gives quite a natural finish. I'm going to do the other eyebrow um, now for you, and I'm going to do that the same way. Just light really really light barely touching strokes across like that and down and again do the thing where you sort of hold your mirror up and have a look and see if you're happy with the sort of length and everything of them I'm just going to put a little bit more on the outside here Now they don't need to be um, completely identical because very few people are born with a completely symmetrical face. Um, so that, you know, they look different but as you can see they look much better. Now obviously I have not got a full face of makeup on, I've got a tiny, tiny touch of eyeliner on, Dior eyeliner, it's this waterproof one in Noir Trinidad or Trinidad Black and it's 094 and it's really nice this one it's a black waterproof one so it's got more you know better stability and it's got this nice little foam smudger on the end so you can just sort of blend your line and soften it a bit I really like this um, that's what I'm wearing on my eyes and on my lips I am wearing my new favourite, favourite, favourite lipstick and this is one of the Revlon um, Lip Butters and it's virtually new, I bought this the other day, I, I might do a haul video on this and this is Strawberry Shortcake and it's Revlon Colour Burst Lip Butter is what they called it, Strawberry Shortcake and it's 080 I don't know if that, that's not going to show up is it? No and these are absolutely gorgeous. Now I don't normally like moisturising lipsticks because I find that they're too greasy but this is absolutely stunning. Now this is <clears throat> you know really nice, nice light colour. It's got a slight hint of purple in it which complements my eyes and colouring as well. So Oh, and I forgot to mention, I'm also on my eyes wearing, uh, and I don't know where I've put it.
Yeah, I've completely lost to that. Um, also, underneath my eyes, I'm still using um, the Garnier Eye Roll on in the tinted one. This is very fair, just on its own. But the rest of my face, just ignore because I have just had a bath and clean my face, and it's you know, I've got acne rosacea, so that's why it's quite red and obviously spotty, which I normally cover up anyway. Um, thank you very much for watching my tutorial. And if you've got any comments or questions at all, then please just you know, comment below. Um, I'll really you know happy to answer any questions in fact I love answering questions uh, any comments you know good or bad uh, feel free to put them um, please subscribe to me it makes me so 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 happy when people subscribe to me I know that a lot of people are watching my videos but they're not subscribing um, not trying to sound pushy I just you know it'd be lovely to build up a real group of people watching my videos uh, but if you don't, I'm not going to stop doing them anyway. <laughs> Sorry, I'm only joking. So, um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, click like if you liked it. Subscribe if you want. And um, I'll see you soon. So have a lovely day. Bye.